India with Designer Sexier Adoption. Thanks for watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. I almost didn't get accessories out, so you heard me laughing at myself. Today's topic, I just wanted to share a little bit of information to share the love to kind of all of those um, fashion houses out there that interest me. And some of these fashion houses you may not have heard of or you probably have heard of them, but they're, be they're more well known for something else like jewelry, for example, and you may not have considered them for luxury goods. Um, it's a video that I have debated about doing on and off because I did want to try some of these products first before I said, hey, check them out. But this is not a video where I'm saying I recommend you buy it because I, full transparency, I haven't purchased any of these items, but they do catch my eye. Some of them are in the price range where, you know, it's going to be on my wish list for a longer period of time due to the price point. So this is just in an effort to share the knowledge um, and just share information so that way there's other brands you're considering besides just kind of the, the normal ones or um, the ones that most people are talking about. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you and we will go ahead and get started with the topics. So... I think I have five on my list. If you see me peeking over to the left over here, that's because uh, I have my notes in my list here so that way I do not get sidetracked or forget what I want to say. All right, so first up is going to be out of these understated luxury handbags that you should consider is Delvo. And I'll throw the name in down here so you can see. And it's, their, it's the Tempet. Now, Delvo is a fashion house, um, a luxury goods company that has been pretty much uh, a player in the market for a very long time. They originated, I believe, in Belgium. Um, and I also will link um, a video to another YouTuber who goes into a lot of great detail. She covered a lot of the history, great valuable information. Uh, and actually her video was the one that kind of sparked a little bit more of my interest in the brand. I had seen Delvo on um, a few, on the pre-love market at a few of the um, online retailers that sell pre-love goods. And... I didn't, I would see one of the, I think the Brilliant is the one that I, the style that I would see most often, um, but the Tim Pat one does catch my eye, and hearing more about the history, I don't know about you, but hearing more about the history of the fashion house, the purpose, and kind of the design, and how they make it, and all of those details makes me more interested in it, um, so... I think that's one you should check out. Their price ranges do start in the several thousands. I think I want to say more about four, five, six. So they their price ranges are definitely up there. Um, but it's one to check out. Also, next up is going to be Moynat. That one, um, the, the style that I really like is the Gabrielle. And shout out to Kelly Jane if she still has her channel out there. I don't think I've seen it recently. Um, so hopefully she'll come back, but Kelly Jane is when I, um, is a YouTuber that, whose channel I would watch, and I found out about the Moynat. She had purchased one. It's, they have a great history too. Uh, what I, from what I have heard, the quality is amazing of those handbags, and I like the understated style of it. Also, it's not like you'll be walking around and see a bunch of people with it, nor, is it something where it's highly recognizable? And those are the things that I really like about it. It's why it's understated. Um, so I think uh, Gabrielle, uh, the Gabrielle style for the Moynat is another nice one to check out. It is several thousand dollars. So definitely um, is on the wish list <laughs> as well. So next up is going to be Goyard. Um, this one, um, the Saigon, I believe is the name of this style. I'll double, I'll throw it down below the name of these as you see them coming across so you can um, kind of know what they look like as well as what you should be searching for if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I do really like the style of this one and the history behind it. Um, shout out to that same YouTuber, which I will throw her name down here right now. Um, and like I said, her channel will be linked below. I did learn about the Saigon style of the handbag and a little bit more information about it, um, which I think is pretty cool. The reason why I'm going to say this one is understated 
um, handbag is because a lot of people, definitely Goyard is popular, a lot of people know about it. However, I think it still is a little bit slightly under the radar um, and I think that helps with uh, the understated side of the reason for this topic today. So it's not like I feel like you can go down the street and a lot of people are really going to recognize the print that Goyard makes. Um, and so I think the style of the handbag is pretty cool too. If you notice, pretty much these uh, the ones that I've been talking about so far have been top handles. I do typically gravitate towards a top handle even though they are not the easiest bags to carry around, especially if you don't have a strap, a longer strap that you can stick over your shoulder. But I do like that classic, that ladylike, that traditional style. So that is why you see a bunch of these that I'm suggesting are top handles. Um, you're gonna see the style relax a little bit here and that's going to be Cartier. So obviously I know a lot of people have heard of it. You pro Cartier is well known for their jewelry. Their beautiful love bracelets are all over social media, all over the stars and the big YouTubers and everybody else that's out there, even your reality stars and whoever else um, has a Cartier love bracelet. So um, definitely I'm sure you've heard of it, but have you checked out their leather goods? Um, I have not purchased any leather goods, but I am considering this handbag and I will throw down the name of it and you'll also see a picture of it because um, I think it's the must, The I'm gonna mess it up the wording. I'll throw down what I think the line of it is called. Um, but it ranges from about $1,600 to $2,200. It does look like a really nice handbag. And based off of um, another channel that I watched, Sophie Sohet, she actually talked about the card holders with them. And I have been peeking at their leather goods for several months now, debating on what something that, kind of debating on what I want and if they have it. Um, this is the, the hobo is what I do really like. It kind of reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn, um, just kind of like that slouchy, casual style. But the nice twist there is it's a Cartier um, um, handbag that's uh, from their leather goods area. So I think this is a good understated one to consider um, because most people probably would not be looking out for a Cartier leather good. Um, so I think that is one to try as well. And if you have purchased any of these or have seen them in person, I encourage you to definitely comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about kind of the quality of it. Does it really live up to its name? How, what, do you, what are your thoughts and how do you like it? Um, also, just a little pause here for a second. If you are still listening to this video, watching it, I really do appreciate you for taking the time out to watch. Also, for my return people, thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time, thank you for clicking play to even watch to this point of the video. I typically love videos every Wednesday covering topics related to fashion, luxury, and a lifestyle topics. Most of the time I am putting a pre-owned vintage uh, secondhand twist on it. Um, but I do also talk about new uh, new bag reviews, unboxings and things like that too. So if any of that is interesting to you, please definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And also I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. All right, so now past my public announcement and I will move on to the next two. So Bulgari is going to be another fashion house or luxury brand that I wanted to talk about. I do think that this brand does not get, especially their handbags, does not get enough attention. I will say in the US. I feel like it is more so popular overseas. Um, in like Asia and Europe, I do watch um, the, and now that I'm, I'm trying to say her name, I can't remember, in the fro. Um, and she has a few Bulgari um, handbags and I think they are beautiful. I think they are amazing. I love one. I have one in my little saved favorites on my Tracy app. <laughs> um, so I do think this is one that is still understated. Uh, definitely doesn't scream bulgari, but if you recognize it, you will see that serpenty head and that's gonna that snake head and you know that'll give it away. But for the most part, they don't have heavy logos or anything like that, but their style is distinctive, so people that are familiar with it would know what it is. Um, 
So theirs are pretty pricey also, and that's why it's on my wish list and not physically with me. Um, but I definitely think you should give them a try and check out their leather goods also. And then last up is going to be Nina Ritchie. Um, I really do like, I think it's the Marche um, handbag. I first was interested in this handbag brand because I was watching a TV show. Um, every time I'm about to say the name of something, it it flies out of my mind. Madam Secretary, that's it. And so, Elizabeth, if you watch the show, definitely comment down below if you like Madam Secretary. But anyway, um, her Elizabeth, um, who is the Secretary of State, um, her assistant, I guess you can call her, or not really assistant, actually, I think it's her chief of staff. Um, and I don't remember her name, but she was carrying around a Nina Ritchie, I think in black. And I didn't even know what the brand was. I just saw it and thought, I really like that handbag. It's interesting. Google searched until I could find it and found out it was Nina Ritchie. I actually do have a ARC clutch. It's a floral clutch um, by Nina Ritchie that I actually have for sale on my website. So definitely if you're interested in Nina Ritchie, check that out. But definitely seeing that handbag that I'm selling on my website, it's of great quality. They do sell Nina Ritchie either at Saks or Neiman Marcus. I can't remember off the top of my head, but definitely one of those stores, at least one of those stores carries Nina Ritchie. And I think it's a great, beautiful brand, high quality materials. Um, the clutch that I have, the outer materials is made, like the outer um, covering is made of satin. Um, the inner materials is lined with leather. The sides have um, suede. So it's, you know, just on par with upper level luxury materials, high end materials that have been used to um, put the handbag together. So I think Nina Ritchie is definitely an understated brand that you should check out if you have not. I think um, at least from that clutch that I um, was able to obtain, um, through thrifting is a really good item, a good, really good brand to check out and consider. Maybe a lot of people aren't talking about it, but I feel like that's the reason you should go after it. Um, one of the reasons you should go after it. Also, you should also like it. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, and understated handbags, the reason why I like them so much is because they just don't, they don't scream, I spent a lot of money on it. You see it and you see, you can tell the quality. So you know it's a, a more, likely a more expensive handbag, but it's not like you can just kind of look at it and quote, oh, she spent $2,000 on that handbag because that's Louis Vuitton or something like that, of that nature. I also like it because, a lot of these bags that I'm talking about are not logo heavy or anything like that. So it makes it easier to carry them to different venues like work. Um, a lot of people don't really feel comfortable. I know myself in particular with kind of carrying some of those things to work that are highly recognizable because you just don't want the judgment. Not that I care what anybody thinks, but people are people and people manage people, people promote people. So you just don't want to have this perception um, about you that you did not that that has nothing to do with your work ethic it has to do with what you're wearing um if that makes sense and hopefully it does so let me know your thoughts um whether you agree or not with that statement i would love to hear have you heard of any of these brands if you heard of these brands did you know they had le a leather uh, a leather goods department where they made handbags I'd love to hear all of your thoughts down in the comments down below. I thank you again for watching and I will talk to you again next Wednesday. Bye.